Hello everybody, it's the drummer 1232 here and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys have been showing all the recent content I've been releasing recently. I actually do greatly appreciate it. For some odd reason, I uninstalled The Wolf Among Us. I don't know what happened or what went down, but I just uninstalled it. Uh, hopefully it saved my files still, and I think we're on episode 2. Um, if I remember correctly, we should be outside of the- in, we should be inside the strip club. Um... Yes, we should be inside the strip club. All right, we're gonna be inside the strip club. There's gonna be a lot of blurring because uh, titties are not allowed on YouTube. Um, titties are a no-go for the internet of safety on YouTube. So I'm gonna have to blur that shit. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business? I, I, I've got some questions got for some Georgie. Questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Yes. You're in love. He's here. Come on. Cool. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. I'll try to be nice. Kind of a mood right now. I have a way with people. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desire is Skip the spiel. Desires. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. My eyes only. <laughs> Trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want nice that? guy. No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. All right. Let's go talk to Georgie. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Hey. Oh, it's you. Yes. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. I got a few stay questions. Down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? No. I'll tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. Can hook you up, or uh, knowing you is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. I'm not here for that. Station, your target, or one that will put up a fight. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds it's of... It's illegal. Watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. 
The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market Facts. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf uh, his teeth. Show him Snow's photo. Something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then. He's getting mad. Turn off. You gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's Who hired her? Right. One more time. Who hired her? Loser. Oh no, fuck. Yo, take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck off, hands. Hans, is Hold it? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Like Hansel Hans and Gretel? just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is Facts. no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey! That's my personal property. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Hand it over while well, you still can. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Huh. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. I'm not going to hurt him, because that'll go everywhere if I do. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'll destroy this place. You might want to stand back. 
All right, all right, all right. Georgie won't forget that. You better not swallow the key. Woody, come on, man. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so you can be happy about that. <laughs> here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Lily Snow White, Mr. Smith. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. 207. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, <laughs> Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. not my fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I believe you. quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. You can call Crane all you want. All right, let's go to the back area. Oh, no, business office. Everyone's gonna call and complain on me. I gotta get what I gotta get. Lily. Makeup on the ground. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Here's Faith's mm -hmm. stuff. Jewelry box. Box been busted open. It's a look like, search through. Oh. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Now what's this? I almost hey, missed it. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Lily. That jibes with what the woodsman told me. Nerissa, Johnny, Jade, Gwen, Madison. There's only one guy that's working here? Oh, George. Excuse and Hans. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. Smile. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Oh shit, Ariel. Once upon a time. Does that help? Are the legs gram glamour? Legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Oh, Nerissa, that's well, an interesting Nerissa, take. I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Okay. 207. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf. 
Would you like to make an appointment with me? No, one I'm here for. I'll say okay, because I'm going to play with the play on words. What I need to do. I need 150. Oh, oh shit. Short. Pay her. Okay. Wait here for a second. Not two oh seven. It's the best we could do. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I do too. Open mo open arms hotel. A cop with that's funny. Oh, uh, well, I don't know the situation. The power to the whole hotel is just outside. The Open Arms Hotel, the Bronx, late evening. Smile, you're on camera. Okay. Rooms are anything like the lobby? They should cut their rates. <laughs> Ding ding ding. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh shit. Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. I won't say Beast anything. Is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And Beauty, thanks remember for that. covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Investigating. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily, did she uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh, did you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. It's okay. Have you ever seen snow here? I've seen Snow White down here. Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Ever see you with Lily? Ever seen anyone. Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register, or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here: Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, 
It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Facts. Five minutes, please. Let's see. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Bigby. I get kicked out at a lot of places. Filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. No problem. Just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? No, oh, mine was. So we'll listen in. Uh, two oh four. Look around. Your apartment is just as stingy. You get health inspectors through here very often. I don't know. What do you think? Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No, the key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. All right. So are we done now? Someone's getting busy in 203. Someone's getting busy in 203. Can I open these? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. To 204. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? Can't just go barging. Please. Oh, fine. You never know. I won't go into two or three. I won't. I won't go into two or three. Someone's getting it on in that room. So. See anything? Nope. All right, two or five, please. This one. Better be right about this. Just a room. Satisfied? Yes. <laughs> this is going to take a lot longer. Remember, you're not even supposed to be up here. W, please. I charged my keyboard, so. All right, open this one, please. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? It's not what no, it looks like. No, wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. Ah, oh, Beast. I took care of you. I love... It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me with him? No. No. Beast, Beast you're overreacting. I'm, I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just. You've got it wrong. Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen. I know. To me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. <laughs> Oh man. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Beast, oh, shut it. the fuck up. Is this you staying out of it? I don't want to hurt you. So just calm down and Beast. S. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. W. Q. Oh my god, that was laggy. Q. Q, 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 Q. Left. I guess it's right. Leave it be. This is my fault. Please, no. I don't understand. 
W. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I'm wolfing out, bro. I am. I am wolfing out. Ooh. Into the eyes. I guess I'm beating this shit out of Beast. Make me know. Don't hurt him. He's had enough. You didn't hit Beast. Oh, that, that glitched. Alright, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fucking throw him into the door. This. Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking blood. Shit. Shit. What is it? Oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this. Is this. Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Jesus. So last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. Who it's rented this room? Desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Okay. The trailer saw me wolfing out, and I didn't wolf out. Baby, what kind of a person could do something like this? A horrible one. I'm about to try to find out. Okay, radio. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Lily. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Alright, a book. Storybook. Beautiful. What is that? It's Snow a book White. About Snow White. Or about the mummy version of her story anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? Sleeping Beauty. This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Because they want her dead. Uh, he likes people. He's obsessed with death. this page with snow in the coffin. I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. All right, that's the last page. Touch the cigarette butt with his DNA on it. I thought you were the only one who smoked that. Brand. Apparently not. All right. I get a bottle. You brought wine. Classy. Yeah, classy for a murder. <sighs> Before my arrival. Okay. Open the closet door. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? Yes. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. He probably took it off another victim. What, what are you thinking? Uh, looks like a Snow White costume. The dress is the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right, it's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. 
She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. All right, can I listen to the tape? She must have been so scared. Put the tape in. Bigby Fist? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Maybe. Damn, get it together, beauty. Be strong. I think that's all of it. That's all the shit. Uh, continue investigation. Anything else you can there tell me? Anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out? Sorry if you can hear the garage. No, it just seems like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Uh, you better not be hiding anything. How do I find out who rented How can the room? I find out who rented this room. Find whoever has the key. I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term, and we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Better not be hiding anything. I better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this. Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Alright, I have. We can leave. It's not letting me leave. It's not letting me leave. Oh, this. Do you smell something? Yeah, an apple. Smells that. Oh, there's more? What? What now? Uh, this apple looks like in the it's book. Not a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, you connected no, the evidence. It, was it wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm... Just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation that doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Oh, there's a note. What does the note say? Leaving evidence behind, because this is what serial killers do. Oh, I bet they're photos. Oh shit, this guy wants snow. No. Just photos of snow. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. Keep trying to get closer and closer. The stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> praying. Oh, shit. Bye bye, magic mirror. Holy shit. Crane's the murderer. 
Ah, oh, come on. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Oh, he got his eye fixed. Or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, baby. Oh, there's me wolfing out. Which did not happen. Uh, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 60% of players sympathized with him. How did you treat the murderer suspect? You and 62.4% of players pursued him to talk. Uh, did you let Snow come with you on the trip trap? You and 90% of players let her make her own decision. How did you handle Georgie? You and 70% of players did not hit Georgie. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77% of players did, opted not to hit Beast. Alright. And I think we're just going to go ahead and continue the next episode. The next chapter and the next episode. So, without any further ado, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I truly do greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't be afraid to leave a like. And as always, I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye, guys.